Hi, Jackie Van Ruller here, and in today's video, I'm going to do a video called Rise and Energize. So this is a video to do in the morning to get your energy up, to get yourself motivated, to release any inflammation, any negative emotions that have kind of accumulated overnight. As you can see, my hair is wet. I've just gotten out of the shower. That is a wonderful time to do this because you can help to release any of that dry, tight skin that you might experience after taking a shower without having to use any moisturizers or oils or anything like that. Just activate your body's natural oil production. So we're gonna start on the bottom of our face, which is gonna correlate with our feet uh, and some of the lower organs in our body and work upwards to kind of bring our energy up. Um, oftentimes I work from the top down and that's usually a more relaxing, de-stressing. This one we really want to bring this energy up and get ourselves motivated and energized for the day. So we're gonna start here on the bladder. So right in the center of the chin. And this is gonna help us to release any stored fluid that we have built up in our face and our bodies throughout the night. A lot of times we go through a deep detoxification process in the middle of the night, and so we want to get rid of some of those toxins that have stored up in our bladder. Next area I'm gonna do is actually right here, and this is the ureters. This area here is a um, detoxification diuretic point. So really good for any fluid buildup, particularly if you find that your face gets really puffy in the mornings. Really common. Just work in those areas, doing some good circles. You don't always have to do circles. You can also do back and forth motions, whatever feels good to you. Then we're gonna work this top part of the chin right here. This has to do with the small intestine, and it's about getting the most nutrients out of your food. All of that nutrient absorption occurs in the small intestine, and the small intestine is about making good life choices and having the nutrients, having the building blocks to do that. Then we're gonna come up and work the upper chin or the upper lip a little bit. This is an area that you want to avoid if you are pregnant. If you're not pregnant, it's totally safe. These are gonna be some points to heat and warm up your body and then to give yourself a little bit of a boost of energy. First point we're gonna do is right where the upper lip meets this middle of the nose. And this point activates your sympathetic nervous system or your adrenaline. It gives you a little boost of energy. And then we're just gonna work right beside it, right underneath your nostrils. And this point is great for just warming and heating the body. At night when we go to bed, we want our body to cool down. But in the morning, we want a nice, warm, heated body to energize us, to give us that motivation and concentration that we need. Okay, and then we're gonna work over to our liver points. So we have liver gallbladder in line with the bottom of the nose, directly under the iris of the eye and beside it. So this is the liver. The liver is going to, um, it's, it's a kind of a forceful energy. So it allows you to have this energy that gets you excited about life, gets you energized, that makes you want to complete tasks, to be motivated and concentrated, and just to feel like you have this vision in your life that you're excited about. Most people will have some good liver stuff going on, so just work this nice and carefully. The liver gives you life force. It gives you that energy you need to make something of yourself. So we all need some good, good liver energy. It also helps to release the emotion of anger, particularly if you're feeling kind of angry, impatient, aggressive, and turn that anger more into life force, this energy that that allows you to get things accomplished and get things done. Next, we're gonna move over to the left-hand side of the face. And you can see that just by working that, that's giving me a good boost on this side. Still a little bit of congestion right in here, so now we're gonna work that left-hand side, which is gonna to have to do with the stomach and the spleen. The spleen is in line with that flare of the nose, directly under the iris of the eye. And it is important for giving you um, self-esteem, confidence, happiness, feeling calm, and also strength in your body and your mind. When the spleen is out of balance, you might find yourself um, having a difficult time making decisions, ruminating on thoughts, worrying. Then we're gonna move down to the stomach, which is in line with the bottom of the nose and directly over the smile line. Stomach holds the emotion of worry. And we don't wanna be somebody who spends our time worrying because worrying is a completely emo completely useless emotion. 
we're going to release that, but we're also going to be helping to release more stomach acid, which is going to help us to break down proteins, to build all the building blocks of our muscles and our neurotransmitters and our hormones and all those things that make us feel good. So we don't want to be stuck in worry because that depletes us from actually feeling good and being ambitious and excited about life. Okay. This next area is probably one of my favorites. We have this one right here, which is going to be an area that enhances your blood. Your blood is your joy. It has to do with the emotion of joy. The more nutrient dense and oxygenated your blood is, the better you're going to feel, the happier you're going to be. And it's also going to show up in your hair, your skin color, all of those things. So this is a great area to work. And then the next area you're going to work, this is in a move I call the confidence boost. So what we're going to do is take your magic wand and go up and down this front side of the nose. This is opening up these nasal passageways. So you can probably feel them even open up as you're working this. So you're opening up that nasal passageway, breathing in air. It's going through your nose, being um, filtered out. You have these little hairs in your nose that are filtering out bacteria, viruses, dust, debris, all of those things. So those get trapped in your nose. Then your air goes into your sinuses where it's heated and humidified. Most bacteria and viruses are going to die in that humid environment before it even goes to your lungs. Then we're bringing that air all the way to the bottom of your lungs by going back and forth right underneath the cheekbones. You're also lifting your cheekbones as you're doing this. Your cheeks have to do with your lungs. Your lungs have to do with a sense of vitality and zest and excitement for life. So as we're doing this, we're boosting that zest and that excitement for our life, feeling good. And then we're working this area up here for the shoulders. So we're relaxing the shoulders. So breathing in, puffing up the chest, relaxing the shoulders. That gives you that nice, confident look. Now let's do that on the other side. Opening those nasal passageways, you probably already feel like you're able to breathe in easier and better. Coming under the cheekbones, bringing that oxygen all the way to the bottom of the lungs, opening up all those alveoli, creating zest, excitement for life, vitality. It even shows up on your face as brighter, pinker, more beautiful skin. You might even feel your nose clear as you're doing this. And then working up here to relax the shoulders. I was looking out my window because I just saw a couple of deer run by. So it's really cool living in this area because we just see wildlife all the time, which is awesome. And now we're going to work up the nose right below where your glasses would sit if you wear sunglasses. It's a spot for the diaphragm. So work this point until yourself, feel yourself take a deep breath. That relaxes the diaphragm and it also enhances the movement and flow through the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is this nerve that energizes all of your organs. If it is being like restricted by the diaphragm, your organs won't get all the energy that they need. So working this point, coming up right between your eyes for the heart. You want that heart to be pumping out blood nice and easily, keeping your blood pressure nice and stable. Okay, then we're going to move up right between the brows. This is your power center right in here. So this is your pituitary gland. Your pituitary gland energizes all of your endocrine functions. And your endocrine functions are the things that do hormones. It's about blood sugar regulation and blood pressure regulation and your sex hormones and all of those things all come from this spot. Additionally, this area um, your pituitary gland releases growth hormone, which is really important for your metabolism and to keep your uh, bones and muscles strong. Okay, then we're going to work up to the third eye. This is really important for sleep regulation and circadian rhythms, um, but also intuition and your connection to God. So you want to make sure that you have that nice intuitive sense about you and that you're connected to your creator, to your higher power. And then coming up right to the center, and this has to do with the mind. So you want our mind working wonderfully. Um, if your mind is full of thoughts, racing thoughts, you can't turn it off, this is going to be very stressful. You're going to find yourself spinning your wheels and not getting things done. So working this mind point helps to clear your mind so that you're able to think more clearly, get more done, concentrate, and focus. Then we're going to work our kidney points in line with the bottom of the, or the corners of the lips, up to the forehead and then down just a little bit. 
these points here are going to enhance your brain and spinal cord, help um, balance out that uh, sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. So the parasympathetic is about flow, it's about ease, it's about joy. And that uh, sympathetic nervous system is about passion and excitement and power and energy. And so we want those to be nice and balanced so that you have a good amount of flow and a good amount of energy and excitement and passion. So notice if your left or your right is more stuck or stagnant. For me, I noticed that my right was today. Um, you, sometimes it's the left and it varies from day to day. Um, but the right is more of that sympathetic or that passion, fire, um, excitement, things like that. So I'm probably a little bit lower on that and just need to energize that a bit. Um, and then we're going to work this point here. So this point is a point it's called uh, for the pericardium and it gives a little more oomph to the heart. Also gives a little more oomph to all of these points that we've worked, and worked so far, helps them to work better and faster. But what it really does is increase circulation within your body. So you want some good circulation, good blood flow, Remembering that your blood is your joy. It's about feeling good about what you're doing, having passion and excitement in your life, getting plenty of nutrients all throughout your body, and giving it that extra oomph to anything else that has felt a little stuck or stagnant. Okay. This one also is great for reducing anxiety. So if you tend to feel anxious, particularly if you're anxious about work or your work day, Make sure that you're getting in this point and working it really well. Not only will you feel less anxious, you'll actually find that you feel more motivated and excited about the things that you're doing. Okay. As with every routine, you want to finish up by working around the ears. I like to come in and do some good opening up of this um, lymphatic drainage canal that's right in front of the ear. So going up and down a few times and then coming back and around and circling the ears. This is activating your kidney energy. Your kidneys are about the energy of flow, making things in your life easier, less fearful, and more fun and exciting. So notice what you're feeling as you're doing this. Are you feeling any restrictions? If so, keep working it. And then notice if your face looks better than it did when you started. I can already see that I have like a lift in here. There's more, um, a decrease in some inflammation on my cheeks. I feel better. Like I feel like I'm ready to start my day now. Whereas before I was kind of like dragging a little bit. I was like, yeah, you know, maybe I'll just have another cup of coffee, you know, sit and wait a few minutes to get some things done. But now I'm like feeling like I'm ready to get moving and flowing and get things going with my day. So I hope that you're feeling that too. Please be sure to comment and let me know how you're feeling. If you're not already a subscriber to my channel, make sure that you do that. And make sure you're subscribed to my Instagram channel as well because I do post these face naps on my Instagram channel. So you can find them to follow along. Then we don't have to do the video every single time. You can actually just download that face map or save it and follow along anytime you need a little energizing boost in the morning. Thanks for watching. I will see you soon.